Yes, I have I. Have I. So uh, there was some dark, <laughs> there were some bad times at QPR where they were kind of like, they kind of got the balance wrong in terms of trying to take money back from the players whilst also trying to keep them motivated. So we wow. almost got to a point in the season where, you know, if they create a fine where if somebody was running through on goal and you're winning 1 0 and you took them down, you'd have to pay the fine, even though it might win you the game. So that in within that same season, I remember, there's a cliche, here's something that always gets said, whenever you lose a game badly, the coaches will come in and say, you guys didn't even lay a glove on the opposition, why did you even bother? So we were losing a game, it was 4-0 away from home, it's one of my teammates, put, this is when I was captain, putting a big foul on someone, I was frustrated or whatever, but then one of their players came over and pushed him, so I ran over and shoulder barged the guy to get him off my player, and I got shown a red card for it. The manager at the time, Ian Holloway, said, you know, I'm glad that you stuck up for your teammate. But then when I went into training on the Monday, I had a two weeks wage fine for sticking oh. up for him for taking the red card. So in that moment, that's when I knew, like, maybe this isn't, maybe there is no right answer to this situation whereby, like, so do I let someone get bullied away from home or do I try and stick up for him? But the fact is they made me pay the money and that's what it is at the end of the day. How much was two weeks wages, Nathan? Is about ninety pounds, so probably about hundred and twenty dollars, wow. I think. Something Loving like it, yeah. yeah. The exchange so rate. It was a lot of money. Yeah, it was yeah, a lot of money, most yeah. definitely. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis, and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.